Hey guys, Smith Boy here. Now, today, we're back with a brand new video, and today I'm going to be bringing you my top five moments of Rotherham's season. The reason I didn't do a top ten is because I thought if we did a top five, it would be much more interesting and the video would be short so I could use more clips to show you why I've chose these moments in my top five. Just before we get on with the video, if we could smash 50 likes, it'd be much appreciated. Subscribe as well, we're on the way to six thousand subscribers add me up on instagram as well that's enough of the plugs let's get on with the video in my fifth spot i've chose the calvicell overhead kick against peterborough we actually beat peterborough that day 4-0 i couldn't actually make it to the game i was away for some reason i can't quite remember what the reason were but i missed it but what a goal that was i'll play it on screen now <laughs> The performance that day as well, we smashed such a good team, 4-0. That is bloody some statement for Rotherham United. I've also heard from my mates who went to the match, the atmosphere was decent as well, which was quite expected as we did beat them, 4-0. Let's move on to the fourth spot. For this one, some Rotherham fans might be a bit surprised that I've chose this, but I just think it fits perfectly well into the video. It is the mini FA Cup run, what we went on, and the game that I've chosen is the 4 Three against Solihill Moors. The absolute limbs in that Rotherham away end are next to none. By half time, somehow, God knows what happened, but Rotherham actually 3-0 down. God knows what was said in that dressing room at half time. Some really harsh words must have been said because the comeback and the fight that Rotherham showed in that second half was quite unbelievable. The absolute limbs when that fourth goal went in. I think it was in the 90 plus something minute. We literally scored so quick one after each other. Oh my god, the absolute scenes. And it made it even better, the fact that we're 3-0 down. Obviously, it's not really good to say you were 3-0 down to a club that's not even in the football league. But oh my god, the limbs. This is where it gets tense. This is where we move on to my third spot of today's video. And it is Accrington Stanley away. The reason I've chose this one is because it was just an all-round unbelievable away day and the result, oh my goodness, it was freezing cold, we sold out, if anyone's ever been to Accrington it's literally all standing, it will ram packed with Rotherham fans, we sold out some of the side as well, we fully sold out, it was unbelievable away day, the atmosphere was class as well, we scored, we thought we won the game there but that was not the end of it, they scored, Accrington scored in the 90 First minute, the Rotherham, Perlow, Ben Wiles, nutted one in. Oh my goodness, the absolute limbs in that Rotherham away end was next to nothing. It was absolutely chucking it down, everyone was falling over. Charlie actually nearly broke his leg that day. It was unbelievable. It also made it a lot better, it was right in front of the Rotherham away fans. I'll try and find the video and put it on screen right now. Go on! Go on! Honestly, just the movement in that Rotherham away end, and it felt very much, it made it even better, it felt very much more worth it, as it was absolutely freezing. It was one of the coldest away days, apart from Northampton away, last time we were in League One, it was one of the coldest away days that I've ever been on. In my second spot was Boxing Day's Shrewsbury away. It was Phenomenal. The history between this fixture, Rotherham and Shrewsbury. Last time Rotherham went to Wembley and Shrewsbury went to Wembley, we actually beat them 2-1 in the League One playoff final to send Rotherham up to the Championship. It was also a cracking away day. Everyone was in high spirits. It was as it was Boxing Day around the Christmas period. We scored. The Rotherham fans went mental. They scored. Their fans were trying to get on the pitch and get to the Rotherham fans. We scored again in the 97th minute. Michael Smith and the absolute scenes in that Rotherham away end. I'll play the clip. People have probably seen it about 550 million times. It was just unbelievable. <laughs> There were literally like 500 Rotherham fans running towards the Shrewsbury home fans and were giving it large all game. Oh my god, it was... Oh, I, would, I would honestly pay loads to redo that moment. It was 
unbelievable. Coming in at my first spot, it's probably going to surprise a few people as I've not chose promotion because we've not really had any celebrations. It don't really seem real to be fair because of the, the pandemic that we're living in. So I've not actually chose the promotion spot and some other fans will probably think I'm deluded for not doing that but I've chose Lincoln Away. The reason I've chose Lincoln Away is because oh my god how much it meant to the Rotherham fans that day. That was such a decider in Rotherham season. Crooks got the winning goal after it was like a couple of weeks after his mate died as well. He scored right in front of the Rotherham fans. You could see how much that meant to him. I've never seen as much movement in the Rotherham away and on Sky Sports than I have at Lincoln away. It was Oh my god, it was phenomenal. And the atmosphere was simply incredible. The best I've ever been in a Rotherham away end. Even the Lincoln fans were messaging me after saying to respect to the Rotherham fans because we were unbelievable that day. And the movement, I'll play it on screen now. The atmosphere as well. I'll try and create a bit of a montage and put it in right now. <laughs> Game. They actually sold too many tickets for the allocation because there was so it was so cramped. It was like a bit. I've never really experienced it, but it was a bit like the 90s, the 70s, when everything was all standing. I've never been in a Robin away end where it was literally everyone stood up, all the passionate fans absolutely going for it, singing the hearts out for the lads. It was absolutely ram packed, nose to nipple. It was unbelievable. This is where I'm going to end the video. If you like this sort of video, let me know in the comments. Smash the thumbs up button. Subscribe as well. It would be much appreciated. As I said, we're on the road to 6,000 subscribers, which is unbelievable. That's like a half of the Rotherham ground. Also, it would be much appreciated if people let me know in the comments the sort of videos they'd like to see. I don't know, ranking videos talk about other clubs. Obviously there's going to be no match vlogs because there is simply no football on at the minute. Up the Millers, look after your friends and family in the current situation and I'll see you next time.